Hi, this is David Gawley from Pentagon Solutions and I'm going to take a look at AutoCAD Map 3D 2010. Uh, the feature I want to have a look at is the map cleanup, but I'm going to do this in a different way. I'm going to use my action recorder to actually record some of the information. What I have on the screen, er, on the screen is a standard DWG file from Ordnance Survey in Northern Ireland or LPS, Land and Property Services. And still in Northern Ireland, the data formats that they would receive would be NTF, DXF, or DWG. So you can see this in County Antrim, it's Temple Patrick direction. But if I have a look at the data um, and look at the properties of it, there's an intense amount of data in here, 8,437. So we're just taking a look at this at a very low level. We're not looking at any GML data, etc., or shape files, this or SDF. This is pure DWG information. There's nearly 8,500 objects here. And one of the first things I want to do is clean all this up. So we can use our cleanup function in here in map. And um, again, the, the main purpose of this video is not to actually show the cleanup function, but to actually show how you're going to record the functionality um, amongst other things. So I'm going to hit next. We've got lots of different options, and you've seen these options in previous webcasts. And what I'm going to do is remove um, weed polylines and I'm going to remove break crossing objects because I want to try and simplify this down. I'm going to modify the original objects, I'm going to create some lines to polylines etc and circle the polylines. But more importantly I'm going to save this out as a map clean file, a DFP file or a DPF file and um, I'm going to use this later on. So I'm going to hit save and we're going to finish that out. So you'll see in the command line on the bottom of the F2 that um, it's basically modified 1600 objects and it's deleted 4300 and created 237. So if I have a look at the properties of this now, you see we're down to nearly half, 4373. That's great, but there's still lots of bits and pieces of editing that I want to do, like the center line of the roads I normally use in the layer delete command um, because I don't actually need that data. Um, other bits and pieces I'll do is the set by layer. So we'll take set by layer, I'll get all this information. Um, convert layer to by block, etc. Because you'll see that the data traditionally is red. It was the individual object colors or individual properties themselves being override. So what I'll probably do is then go in and individually change all these colors in here. And you know, it's quite tedious going through this, changing all these bits and pieces of colors and information. The other thing I'll do is I want to clean up that text. Um, I want to make sure that that actually does go the aerial. Um, make it a bit more consistent from my CAD standards. So I don't want to have to do that every single time. So what we're going to do is we're going to record a little macro to do this. So let's open that file up again. Okay, I've saved the map cleanup from earlier on. Um, so let's go to our action record. Let's just hit record on the screen. The important thing about the action recorder is um, it's not being time bound here, it's only as I'm typing in commands. Uh, some dialog boxes will throw problems with it, so I'm going to enter dialog suppression here and I'm going to put the minus map clean. So this means it will come up in the command line and say give me the profile. Well I've got one from earlier on that we created a couple of minutes ago and it's called map clean. Hit enter, it runs through and deletes all my 4000 objects so it's fairly clean. The next thing I want to do is the set by layer. So I'm going to go set by layer on the command line. I'm going to type in all, pick up all the objects, change by layer, by block by layer, yes, include blocks, yes, and it's change the actual objects in there. The next feature I might want to do is layer delete. Have to be careful here though, I'm going to do that again, dialog suppression. Minus layer, DEL, hit enter. Um, select object and layer or name. I'm going to go for end for name. One of the layers I want to delete is the center line of the road. So as long as you know the exact layer name, and remember you'll only ever have to do this once. So C underscore line underscore road, hit enter. And let's do another one by name. Let's say pick townland. Confirm it. And do you wish to continue? Always read the command line. I'm going to say yes. So you'll see now that the center line of the roads here have been deleted. But how about these layers? Well, if I go into the layers, this is one instance of the dialogs box that actually will work. So what I would do is simply pick the layer colors that I want to change. I'm just gonna change some arbitrary layer colors in here. 
so you can get to see them stand out in the background. You can scroll down a wee bit further, pick some of these layers. So you can see it will just make that green. Okay, so I've changed my layers. And the last feature I'm going to change is the style. And you'll notice this is all being recorded in my action tree. So again, dialogue suppression, minus style, hit enter. So the name of the text style is standard. The font name we won't change that to is Arial. Um, we're happy enough with the height, so we're going to hit enter. The width factor we're happy with the angle, etc. And we keep on hitting enter. So now you can see the map exactly the way I want it. So it's split out, the center line of the roads are removed, and it's got the text style I want. So I just simply hit stop on my action recorder. So let's give this a name. We'll call this Pentagon Cleanup. And we'll save that out. So the next time I have a map tile, so let's just quit out of this drawing. I'm going to go save any changes. I'm going to open this tile up again. Straight off the bat, that's the tile, that's the 8,000 objects in there, a bit tedious. All I simply do is hit play for my Pentagon map cleanup. We go back into that action recorder and we just play it out. And it'll go through the whole cleanup operation for me. And just quit out my layers in there. So that's everything cleaned up. And the beauty about this is this will apply to every single map tile for the whole of Northern Ireland. Now we can apply these um, just on an ad hoc. We can bring a whole lot of them in and apply it. So it's a fantastic way if you want to clean up data and you don't want to have to go through all the dialog boxes and you want to immediate within a couple seconds on the screen. Very, very easy to do. Thanks very much.